I'm Eros Banyares. I am uh, from Ililu Pie Surprise. We do cater. We also do concessions in call center and department stores. Okay. Mary, papano, ano, papano ba? Ano ba sinimulan mo? Uh, tell us your brief background. Um, I was then um, connected in a major mall as a department manager. But eventually, I resigned and started my business and started with roasts like roasted chicken, back ribs, pork belly. Okay. And eventually, but, 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 but how did you learn all this cooking? I mean, you started uh, as an employee of a major mall. Um, how did you all learn this magic of cooking? Um, it was just the joy of serving others, mm -hmm. making others feel uh, happy and um, happy with families and friends. Mm -hmm. So it started with uh, social gatherings in our okay. house during celebrations and some of my colleagues will say, I want to order. So it was not really a serious business mm -hmm. concept before, but eventually because of the demand from my colleagues' friends. Mm -hmm. And later I realized maybe I can um, take this opportunity since I'm not already employed, so why not maximize my time mm -hmm. with my children? I understand you also un uh, underwent training like, uh, as, uh, on a culinary. Yes, after like after 10 years of operating, mm -hmm. that's the time that I learned that I need to improve myself, especially mm -hmm. in catering. Mm -hmm. So I really um, did serious plans to take culinary mm -hmm. school studies. Okay. so. How do you now see, uh, you are now and you entered into a, a seminar where there is about teaching you how to franchise your business. Um, how do you now see yourself, uh, Pies and Surprises, as a, a franchise now? What did you learn so far in, in joining the seminar and working with the sessions, especially trying to understand on a nitty gritty? Ano yung mga, na, ano yung mga naging memories ni mo na napag-aralan? Uh, the one thing that really struck me is how to streamline the operations to make uh, everything easy for others because mm -hmm. it is your system that they will follow. Mm -hmm. So it's just like making easy for others, making it easier for others to succeed. For you are also like sharing yourself with other people, your, your learnings, your hardships, your joy, and even your passion and your success. Mm -hmm. So franchising is like for me um, sharing also your success mm -hmm. to other people. So by, parang it's like um, making, replicating yourself or mm -hmm. duplicating yourself. Is it easy now, now that you wanted to franchise and you, you underwent a lot of uh, lessons is it easy now to franchise as what a lot of people thought it's easy to franchise a business? Yes, what are the, your thoughts? the process was really very rigid and and challenging. Mm -hmm. But at the end of of all these sessions, parang I can connect all the dots. Mm -hmm. And though the process is challenging, pero at the end of the day, you see the, the clear picture of what franchising is all about. Mm -hmm. Before I was connected in a, cal in a, in a school, mm -hmm. a college of management, but I was also like teaching uh, in, in the, the, just the definition of what franchising is. But now, <laughs> mas ngayon ko na realize ano talaga yung the heart and the core of franchising. Okay. You discovered also unique selling proposition, USP. What is now Pies and Surprises? What is now the USP of Pies and Surprises? Yes, we promise to give hearty meals from a mo with a mother's touch. Okay. So it's just like making sure that uh, all customers are really satisfied with their food, that they will feel the, the care of a mother mm -hmm. since uh, a mother's love is really special. Mm -hmm. So each customer should feel that way. That at the end of the day, the comfort, the warmth, and the and the and the care of a mother should be uh, should be felt by okay. all our customers. And you also uh, focus now on what uh, family and corporate. Yes. Um, now that after the the catering, I, I, after the franchising uh, session, um, because before that, I'm really in a crossroad. I'm in the dark, 
And after the session, um, you Sir just Boots, wanted just price and surprise, right? At the beginning, you were not even yes, thing, or you were crossroad. Yeah, but that's a good point. Uh, yung crossroad mo, siguro a lot of our viewers would want to know what crossroad were you in. Okay, um, currently I'm in concessions. Mm -hmm. At the same time, our specialty store serving the pies mm -hmm. and other short orders. And the other one is the catering. So I have three uh, roads in front of me, but I have to choose more, more or less my, the, the subject of my focus, which I really believe now one of the things I've learned mm -hmm. is to really stay focused so that you can get what you want and to be the best in that in that area so okay. now i found it in family and corporate catering okay so from there on na focus mo na yes yes sarili mo na doon. okay so for those who are uh, what advice would you now give for those who are like you who who were from the corporate world and now trying to become entrepreneurs what advice will you give um to listen also to yourself mm -hmm. and at the same time listen to what others are telling you mm -hmm. because learning is a lifetime process mm -hmm. and to be successful is to have big ears mm -hmm. to listen to others to yourself and weigh everything so that you know where go you where you're heading to you know your direction you know you what you want your objectives your goals must be clear and then um, everything must be placed in in proper perspectives. Okay. So again, looking forward to Pies and Surprises soon franchising for again with a focus on family and corporate catering. Okay. Thank you very much, Mary.